Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this week's video, I transformed a piece of rubbish that I found on the side of the road into a wreath. You can kind of see it there behind me. So when I was out for my walk, I stumbled across, it's a funny story, I'll tell you after the DIY. Basically, I found a wheel frame on the side of the road and I was like, oh my God, I have seen them on Pinterest be upcycled into wreaths and they look amazing. So that's exactly what I did and that's what I'm gonna share in today's video. This was so simple to do. I just It just took me the morning to do it, like two hours to do. So I'm gonna share how I did it. So here is my upcycled wheel. <laughs> upcycled cycle wheel. Upcycled wheel, my upcycled wheel. <laughs> For this DIY, I am using the Rust-Oleum spray paint. You would have seen me use this in previous projects. I also have some faux flowers, which I picked up in my local Dunn stores. And I also have a wire cutter and some florist wire as well, and um, because you're gonna have to cut the wire stems of your flowers. I'm also gonna use some cord cutter and a metal kind of sp wire sponge, I think it's called. And I'm gonna use that to clean down my piece there was a little bit of rust on the wheel, but it came off really easy with the crud cutter. Um, it was only a little bit on the surface. I was able to get most of it off. I'm actually cleaning this in the bathtub because it was so much easier to just use the shower head and just rinse away any of the crud cutter. So the crud cutter cut through most of the kind of dirt and grime that was on the wheel. I'm just using the Vestolium All Surface Primer. I had this left over. I just like using the grey colour. It comes in white as well. I don't know why, but I always buy the grey colour. So I'm just applying one coat of primer, letting it fully dry, and then I gave it two coats of the bright copper shade, and I let that fully dry before I start putting the flowers on. find it a little bit fiddly to try and get the stems off sometimes if you bend it back and forth you'll easily snip it off maybe my um, pliers isn't sharp enough um, but if you struggle trying to get the stems off don't worry I do too one of the reasons why I used florist wire instead of my glue gun is because if I want to change the flowers in the future, it's easier to just snip the wire off instead of trying to peel away any like dried glue gun glue, if that makes sense. So normally I would use my glue gun to stick things together, but I'm using the florist wire because I definitely can see myself changing up the flowers for this in the future.
if you liked my wheel. Um, basically, I was out on my walk because after work, I just like to go out and clear my head. And the evenings have been getting slowly brighter. And it's been bright when I was walking. So just took my normal route and I was admiring some daffodils and tulips. When then I noticed in the grass was that wheel. And I was like, oh my God. But I was only halfway into my walk. So I would have had to have walked all the way around my area holding a bike wheel. And people would just be like, who, why is she going with a wheel? They would think I robbed her probably. <laughs> so, so I left it and I came home and I couldn't stop thinking about the wheel. So then on the way to work the next day, I was on work at 7 a.m. I left a few minutes early so I could drive by and pick up my wheel. Um, but it was busy at that hour. Everyone was going to work. There was busloads of people, but I didn't care. I was like, I want my wheel. So I rescued it. <laughs> and that's how I ended up with my wheel. <laughs> if you do want a wheel like that, I reckon you could get them from maybe salvage yards um, or a bike. I know I drove past like a biker's braking yard. He was in town um, and it was this huge yard of bikes and they were like repairing stuff. So maybe they have things like the spokes might be broken or something, but you could totally, I say you get one for free, cheap enough. For free, cheap enough, that made no sense. I reckon you get one for free. You can also reuse some flowers in your home. If you're like me and you collect loads of fake flowers, you could probably shop your house and I got them flowers in tones, but then as I was looking around my house, I was like, you could have totally pulled apart an old floral faux display. Um, so just a little tip if you are on a budget and also my spray paint I had used from a previous DIY. So it didn't cost me much to upcycle my wheel. If you like this video and you are new to my channel, please hit the sub button. I've had a few of you guys saying that my videos aren't showing up, but don't forget to sub. Sometimes if you watch someone's videos, I will show up in your like suggested videos, but you might not be subscribed. So just make sure that you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my trash to treasure. I will also link to a DIY my rubbish video that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one and you haven't seen that one. I upcycled some pieces of rubbish into pieces of decor. So I'll pop that here. You might enjoy that video too. That's it for this week. I will see you all in next week's video. Bye everyone.